Jake Knapp epitomizes the modern day tour player. He's long, he's athletic, he works out in the gym. And today we're going to have an in-depth look at his golf swing, how he creates all that power and speed and what makes him a great player and a recent winner on the PGA Tour. So if we bring him back to set up, we've got down the line and then a little unusual angle on the right hand side. It's a little bit off centre, but it's a great way to look at the power and athleticism. So if we look at just the setup, you'll see he's very, very athletic. You can probably see he's quite a tall guy. His arms are a little bit outside his shoulders there. Most guys you'd see those arms hanging directly below the shoulders. That does allow him to create a lot of width in the backswing. You'll see he's got a nice neutral spine angle there little bit of knee bend and then a little bit of tilt with the hips towards the ball. Just love that setup position. If we see from the screen on the right, you'll see just again, lovely angles there. A little bit of foot flare, which I love to see. You can see the athleticism. Look at his arms there. You can see he works out quite a lot, which helps generate his power and his speed. You'll also see is look how he hovers that club at address. That's really popular with guys, guys like Bryson do it, Jack Nicholas did it, um, Justin Thomas does it. It's a really good way of starting the backswing, especially with driver and enabling the ball to be in the center of the face. So if we take him back initially at takeaway, you'll see that little raise there, just hovering the club. Again, it allows for to ensure that that club face is centered with the ball. And then we'll see, look at that, like I was talking about, because those hands are a little bit outside his shoulders at setup, you'll see he really gets those hands outside and really, really wide. So just watch that again. You can see how wide those hands are here. If we look from this camera angle, You'll see that width there. Look at the width. Does that remind you of anyone? For me, that really a la Bryson DeChambeau. You can see the width between the butt of the grip and the pelvis. Look how far those hands are away from his body. Tremendous amount of width. You can see his right arm's nice and straight. You can see how his right hip started to work back. He's turning his head a little bit. If we look, watch that little bit of head movement this way. And that thorax is also turning. Let me get rid of those lines because it's looking a little bit messy. So tremendous athletic move there. Like I say, Bryson's very, very similar there. He started to move. If you can see that left foot as well started just to pronate a little bit, which will allow him what we'll see in downswing some to create a huge amount of power so i love that move for a powerful takeaway let's bring him back to halfway back you'll see look at the width there his arms are pretty much straight loads of rotation in that hip let's bring him back to a similar sort of position you can see look how wide that arc of his swing is and look how far away that club head is from his body huge amount of width there it's not one to get the club really set again i think from this angle really reminds me of bryson bryson's very in a very similar position and this limited wrist set allows him in the downswing to then create more lag in the downswing and it also creates a lot of stretch in those wrist joints which help create him a ton of speed we'll also see if we look look at that rotation through the lower body Really, really nice position here. If we bring him up to the top now, let's bring him up. You'll see continues that rotation and starts moving down, loading the ground. You'll see that subtle little move down, really loading that trail side. You can see that stretch in his t-shirt, his polo shirt. We've got all those creases with all the coil he's creating. So let's bring him back, see from his down the line view. Look at that tremendous amount of width, lovely flat wrist position, club face, a little bit strong, which is a great way of generating speed and power. 
you see lovely hip depth there, loads of rotation. And what we'll see is we've got to look at this swing really dynamically rather than static positions because this is where he creates a ton of speed and power. So we'll bring him up. So that would be really traditional top of the backswing position. You can see lovely right arm structure, really high hands, lots of depth, loads of rotation, but he doesn't stop there. That would be like your traditional teaching position. What he does now is he keeps going. We'll bring him up to what would be classically deemed the top of his backswing, and then we'll look at it more from a dynamic perspective. As you can see, gets very, very long. That right arm gets behind his body. You can see it on here, that club head. Look how long that swing is. It's almost John daly -esque. It's very actually Bryson again. You can see a great deal of hip rotation, but again, these hips have actually started moving into downswing here, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a dynamic sense. But lovely, lovely position there for generating a lot of speed and power. He's what he's doing is if we look here, look where the hands, if we were to deem this a traditional top of the backswing position and that, let me get rid of those lines, let me just circle the hands. What we'll see now is look how much further those hands travel. What is created by that travel is an ability to generate a lot of force along that hand path. The longer the hand path becomes, the more speed he can power, the more speed he can generate, sorry. So you can see there, traditional top of the backswing, and then he keeps moving those hands. And also you'll see this sort of wrist set, which many people would think that's his actual backswing, but he's actually starting his downswing for that wrist set. So we're gonna look more at the dynamic movement because that is key to his swing. So what I want to notice, this is where this angle is great great for seeing this downswing position so still moving into backswing and then you can see just about this frame this is where he starts to load and you'll see many people will say look oh his left heels raised in the backswing that's not really the case what is actually happening is from this frame here he'll start to put pressure into that lead toe specifically that lead big toe that generates a ton of force and rotation so here there he gener he starts to press into the ground with a big toe and what happens from there is you can see this little mini squat and also because he's starting to move into downswing as the hands are still moving back it's creating a ton of stretches through his body so he pushes into the big toe and you can see as he pushes more into the big toe how much that lead he heel is raised off the ground like i say this is because he's starting the downswing so if we look from down the line you'll see here that pressure in to that lead big toe there that really dynamic movement so what that does is he'll start to get lower with the pelvis watch pelvis lowers look at that belt buckle pelvis lowers, rib cage, watch those buttons on his shirt, watch how they lower, so he's generating a ton of ground reaction force here, and then as a result, because he's creating this dynamic movement whereby his hands are moving back as he's starting that squat down, that creates a ton of stretch in those wrists, so watch, stomps down, and you can see how much those wrists have now increased in angle from here in his swing when there was no wrist set. Look at the angle that's created there. That generates an absolute ton of speed and it's key for his swing. So if we move him a few frames down into downswing now, so you can see that drive down through the big toe and he's really driving everything down. You'll see how narrow he starts to get. Again, this position reminds me a little bit of Bryson, but you can see how close his hands are now to his body. Look at that club shaft. It's almost touching his trail shoulder here because he's just creating a ton of lag, and that's why he's generating you know, upwards 
around, I think, 190 ball speed. And it's the way the PGA Tour and professional golf is going. You have to be a long hitter to compete. Gone are the days where the guys at 160, 165 are going to be number one in the world, like Luke Donald. It's going to be all these guys, tall, athletic guys, who are in the gym, you know, 180, 190, 200 ball speed. But you can see, look at that tremendous amount of lag. And I want to look at, just look at the dynamics of this swing. This hips, these hips start to move down. And then can you see how they start to fire up already? Now, a lot of that jump is creating a ton of speed. Can you see that? Those, that belt buckle down and then starts to elevate the pelvis. That is a huge, huge move for power. Huge, huge move. And I love looking at this guy swing in a dynamic fashion fashion rather than your traditional static position so again watch this hip down and then up and it's a what you've got to realize is that move is happening really quickly not a lot of guys have got the athleticism to move those hips down that quickly and then up in such a sh short period of time look the hands haven't traveled that far and the hips have they move down and then up and you'll see from here it just creates a tremendously look at that position lovely that shaft is dissecting between the forearms lovely shallow position club face pretty much square on the plane I love that dynamic position you can see loads of lag look at the belt buckle almost facing towards the camera or towards the target should i say and look at the chest how it's facing back here it creates a tremendous amount of stretch through the lead shoulder through the obliques just just power power completely and then let's bring him down a few more frames everything that happens from here is he's not he can't really control this because he's so dynamic it's just almost like a whip or an el the, that elastic energy flying through his body almost and you'll see this one i'm assuming he's a bit scared of left so he's hold the, held this off a little bit and you can see how the face is just a little bit open but look at that dynamic movement Boom, those hips moving down and then up and then those hands and arms just speed through there. Just love that. Unfortunately, can't get bang on at impact the frame. That's as close as we're going to get. But look at that position. Those hips rotated nicely. Chest is now pointing at the target. And now what we're going to see is a little bit of old school release, as I call it. Most guys have, have really worked on sort of that those, that handle working left or the club path working left and really holding it off. This guy really releases it. Love that position. It reminds me of you know Butch Harmon shaking the hands at the target. Just a great position to create loads of width and speed. And he's got to do that with the amount of lag that he is creating there. You can see a little bit of elbow bend. I didn't actually talk about that in the downswing. Look at he does have quite a lot of elbow bend in that lead elbow. But again, that, that helps create quite a lot of lag. And a lot of guys who oh, keep the lead arm straight. It's a great way of creating power, of having a little bit of bend in that lead elbow. So he does it and uses it really well. A lot of long drive guys have that bend in that lead arm. So you can see here. There. look at that a little bit of bend lovely bit of release let me bring him on the same frame just a powerful powerful swing and like i say everything else from here is just generated because of that elasticity he's not really he can't really control this it's just the power coming through and because of all that lag you're going to see a little bit of a narrower follow through and look at that release almost reminds me of a bit of luke donald here very very narrow there and just using a lot of those wrists to release the club a little bit of dusting almost there where those hands work really far left around his body quite narrow really releases it and then just lovely balance finish i love this guy swing i think he's going to be a real player especially generating those speeds really works hard in the gym i love that motion and to be honest with you Watching this swing in sort of these freeze frames or slow motion doesn't do it justice. Get watching his swing in full flow because the rhythm and tempo is just beautiful. Great swing. If you like this analysis, there's a discount code in the description. 
and please feel free to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks.